they've been going amazing. at this point 160 hours non-stop yeah worship prayer mm -hmm. and and people just yeah. repenting and yeah. weeping and being so touched well Kate the Holy Spirit is moving all over the earth right now in just an unprecedented way. It's just amazing, isn't it? It is. Um, revival's happening in many places. Yeah. And more recently, Asbury College in Kentucky, USA, um, there's been a gathering momentum of the I, Holy Spirit being poured out, which they've is been going, amazing. At this point, 160 hours nonstop. Yeah. Worship, Over a week. prayer, mm -hmm. and, and people just... Yeah. repenting and yeah. weeping and being so touched and it's just from what I've read and from the people that I know that have been just an amazing sweet presence of God mm. and of course a great hunger mm. among the students yeah. and the people that go. Absolutely and it's been like pure worship there's been no names it's kind of been led by different people students leaders and um it seems like there's a move of holiness, which is wonderful. Amazing. And I'm just so excited. Me too, honey. That the students decided after a regular um, assembly that they wanted to stay yeah. and worship. How and pray. amazing. And I've heard that there's been a number of different students that have come from other campuses around the United States. Yeah. And they're going back and establishing, you know, nonstop worship and prayer and and so on in their own campuses this is so exciting it's amazing. because you know we just want to see the holy spirit yeah. move in the universities don't we and there's definitely an impartation of the holy spirit that's been transferable as we know impartation is transferable yeah. Yeah. when you come hungry to receive yeah the holy spirit meets you there yeah. and to think that these other student groups have been going back to their own universities come on and just come going on for it it's like so amazing this is what we're born for this is what we're born for and you know we were just i was just in brazil and ecuador and i had the privilege of being with uh teofilo hayashi and his ministry of uh, a number of churches called zion churches uh and uh, but also he founded dunamis which mm -hmm. is a university campus ministry. And yeah. they have these amazing groups on the campus, yeah. student-led entirely, called Dunamis Pockets. Yeah. And I was privileged to uh, speak to them at the, on, the, on the first night of their seven nights of revival mm -hmm. in Brazil, mm -hmm. and uh, before then going to the Zion churches. Um, but what I found, Kate, in that, um, that first night, night of revival with the dunamis pockets yeah. the 400 leaders of dunamis pockets from all over brazil and south america mm -hmm. came to that mm -hmm. first night of seven night they, they went to all seven nights but that first night that i spoke at the holy spirit yeah. crashed in on us so powerfully people were just completely mm -hmm. overwhelmed by the presence of god there was tremendous miracles uh, phenomenal signs and wonders that were happening. And the thing that really hit me was the level of hunger yeah. in this Gen Z generation yeah. Yeah. for the presence and power of God. Yeah, and we're hearing stories and reports from different nations and even um, some friends of ours in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Gate Church. Yeah. Again, they've been seeing an outpouring where young people, children and teenagers have been getting so impacted and touched by the Holy Spirit. Amazing. It seems like something's bubbling around the yeah. nations. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, there seems to be some excitement again. And just like, wow, we've been waiting for this. Come Holy on, Spirit. haven't we you ever? Know, there's been many prophetic words about this time of awakening. Yeah, and well, think about Bob Jones's prophecy mm -hmm. from a number of years ago before he went and was promoted to glory on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, he, he prophesied yeah. when the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, yeah. you'll know revivals here. And God is raising up apostolic chiefs. Now, in typical kind of almost slightly cryptic fashion yeah. with Bob Jones, who we love very, very much. Um, I just think that's just such an amazing, amazing prophecy. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, Sean Boltz was the one who 
reminded us all yeah. of that way back in, Three years in, ago. in 2020 mm -hmm. when the Chiefs made it to the Super Bowl yeah. against the 49ers. Yeah. And wouldn't you know, a month after that game, which the Chiefs won, they won the Super Bowl, uh, extraordinarily, yeah. COVID broke out and all of the lockdowns happened. The world shut down. And the and world we, shut down. We wondered what was happening. And, you know, as we reflect on that season, it, it was really a pruning and a purifying and yeah. a shaking again. Because, yeah. you know, it wasn't business as usual in no. many ways. We no. had to ask God for new things. And I think yeah. even in that season, there were lots of desperation for many difficult times yeah what it does it causes us to to hunger again to yeah. draw yeah. close to god yeah that's and, it. and want to pursue him again for, yeah for all that he's worth absolutely darling and, and you know for us as leaders mm. uh we're thinking okay this is it you know um another expression of revival is going to burst out and covid happened yeah and it felt like anything but revival that's right and then here we are now, fast forward three years later, mm -hmm. and guess who's back in the Super Bowl finals? Yes. The Chiefs, this time against the Eagles. And can Hello, I, the Eagles. Anyway. Can I say, uh, yeah. two days before Valentine's Day, yeah. the, the, you know, the anniversary of Bob Jones' death, it's like it's all coming back to our and, remembrance. I mean, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah. And But this time, the Wednesday before yeah. Super Bowl, is when the Holy Spirit breaks out in Asbury. That's right. And, you know, also the gate have, ex have, have been enjoying an amazing move of God yeah. um, for the last, you know, since November. Yeah. And, and here we are, you and I, we're about to fly this very afternoon uh, to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to go and join John and Carol tomorrow night at a meeting where John and Tiffany Matthews, who are the pastors of the gate, who've been yeah. stewarding this amazing move of God, they're going to be the special guests yeah. at, at an open meeting for, and we're just expecting the Holy Spirit to move so powerfully. And you know, darling, being honest and being vulnerable, as someone who's been stewarding the revival that we've been in since yeah. 1994, and we're still in that revival. It's a yeah. revival that hasn't ended yet. Mm -hmm. It's just we're in a different phase. We're in the phase now where it's being scattered all over the world, where churches that are dwelling places of his presence are being established in cities all over the world right now, not just in Catch the Fire, but in many of our friends' ministries yeah. and Revival yeah. Alliance and many others. Churches that are hungry for his presence, yes. pursuing revival, yeah. crying out to God in prayer and worship. And also seeing the river, not uh, seeing the river, for us, seeing the river reaching the Dead Sea, mm -hmm. which is where the fish are. Mm -hmm. And we're beginning to see souls being won into the kingdom. However, there's nothing like the throne end. And even though there's no fish in Ezekiel's uh, vision, uh, there's no fish at the throne end of the river. That's where the source of life is. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we, I just think it's amazing how the Holy Spirit's moving at this time. And for those of us that are in revival at the river reaching the Dead Sea phase, it's easy to feel like, oh, this new move that's happening in Asbury or the gate or you know, among dunamis pockets or wherever else it might mm -hmm. be, that we think, oh, well, you know, we're, we're just more mature. We're, we're we reaching the world yeah. now. We, we don't need to go and, you know, participate in all of that and whatnot. And the Holy Spirit has just been arresting me. And think, no, Duncan, when your heart is postured in worship, yeah. then you're at the throne end. And I want you to stay hungry and open for the new. And open for a fresh encounter. Come on. I think that's the thing, yes. you know. And these moves of God are so good for people that have never experienced this or yeah. never encountered the Holy Spirit in a, a fresh way. You know, sometimes revival can get old for those that are experienced, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, absolutely. But actually, if we, like you say, have a posture 
that we want to honor the Lord. We're hungry for him. Yeah. We're not beyond our level of leadership in this. Yeah, we're not this the in the thing. new, not just experts in that's the That's right. You know? And we're, we're ready for the new wine yeah, of are. heaven to yeah, be poured out. We Even are. as leaders, that yeah. is the biggest challenge. How do we stay open? Yeah. How do we make room for the Holy Spirit? And how do we facilitate a place of encounter for others to come into a fresh awakening yeah, of the yeah, Holy that's Spirit. So well that is said. a big challenge. It's such a big challenge and a big challenge to my heart and to your heart. And mm-hmm. we want to be open for the new always. And, yeah. and you know, my, my counsel to any of you that experience a move of God or are experiencing mm. a move of God, to any leaders that yeah. are perhaps watching this, is to remain like John and Carol uh, were taught by the Holy Spirit in the beginning, yeah. to remain open for the Holy Spirit to move the way he wants yeah. to, not try to control what's going on, not try to decide in the moment, well, this is God, that's not God, that's flesh, that's the demonic, whatever. But just remind ourselves of Jesus's words mm. that you know a tree by its fruit yeah. and it takes time for fruit to emerge. Yeah. And, you know, just let the Holy Spirit flow and go with it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, even as leaders, we can deal with jealousy. Why isn't it me? Why isn't it happening in my church? Why isn't it happening in my worship night? Yeah. You know, and so we want to celebrate what God's doing. We We want to celebrate all those fresh encounters, people giving their life to Jesus, people being filled with the Spirit for the first time. Because those students at that age are going to affect their friends in a way that we would never be able to reach. Yeah, that's so true. You know, I think of our our niece, Ella, Mm -hmm. who right now is with YWAM in Kona together with her sister, Gracie. Mm -hmm. And and Ella's a leader now. And, and, you know, we got a text from Ella saying, Uncle Duncan, Auntie Kate, I'm flying all the way over to Asbury. I've got to get into this. You know, I want to be part of this Gen Z revival. (laughs) And I'm thinking, come on, go, Ella. You know, it's just so awesome to see that hunger in her. And she's there. She arrived late last night and sent a video to mum and dad, who then, of course, sent it to us. That's Kate and I's brother and sister, uh, of her in Asbury, in this revival at midnight. And the place was packed. And not only that, you know, YWAM, they're known for their campus ministries, circuit riders, and they've been sowing and plowing for years, praying for revival, being faithful to the call. And here I get the message that, you know, the DTSs in Kona are praying. They're crying out for their unsaved friends over in, um, in Kona. It's like... It's having a ripple effect. And I think that yeah, is the that. wonderful fruit of what I'm seeing right yeah, now. That yeah. people are not only going to receive because they're hungry for a fresh yeah. encounter, but they're hungry to come back with an impartation and spread it um, in their yes. own churches and so communities. Good. So good. You know, Kate, Luke 5, 37 to 39. Jesus said, and no one puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wine Mm. skins. And no one, this is the sobering verse, and no one after drinking old wine desires new. Mm. For they say to themselves that old is better. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What a warning for us all. What a warning for Kate and I, for all of us in Catch the Fire and the Revival Alliance, all of our ministry friends. You know, I think of so many ministries that have been impacted mm. through this revival from Toronto. What a reminder to all of us mm. that as the Holy Spirit moves with the ones that he desires to move with, that we are yeah. open to allow him to pour his new wine out in the way he wants to yeah. and not be the judges and say, well, we don't like that. Or, well, it's not like what we're used to. Well, it feels different. I'm not sure. Yeah. Even this week, I've been thinking, well, I don't need to go to this, you know, to Asbury. I mean, if God wants to meet me, he can meet me here. And then I'm thinking to myself, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm back, Duncan. <laughs> 25 years ago, people were saying to Kate and I, 
Why do you need to go to Toronto right. to receive the Holy Spirit? Can't the Holy Spirit meet us right here? And we're like, no, he's moving in Toronto. And if you honor that, he's going to touch you. And here we are all these years later it's like, making the same mistake. We don't want to get jaded. No, we want to stay fresh. We want to stay open. Yeah to receiving from people that don't even look as skilled as us. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And um, <laughs> we've been checking our hearts oh. and all we want is Jesus. Come we on. want his presence. Come we on. want his power. Yes. And we want our nations to be awake. Yes, woken thank you, Lord. By the Holy Spirit's power. Come on. Holy Spirit, we ask you that you baptize yes. Kate and I and that you would baptize every lit, uh, person watching, Lord, yes, Lord, and all of our friends around the world and the church around the world baptize us with an incredible extraordinary yes. hunger for your presence That's right. and then baptize us with the new wine yes. of heaven Amen. that you're pouring out right now lord let it come let your pentecost wine and fire yes. be poured out upon us upon all of our churches upon the the world you promise yes. to pour out your spirit on all flesh yes. Oh, Lord, let this great revival, let it explode all over the world in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on that notifications button. Also, click on the links below. We have lots of resources for you to enjoy that we believe will help you to live an amazing supernatural life in the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless. See you next time. Oh,